If you want to get high in this game, Ascend is one of the best ways to do it. The speed on Link while traveling up is faster than I ran into that single mother of four on the interstate the other day. Even though you can get very far with it, Ascend is a great way to get high when you don't want to go very far. Jumping. Jumping will get you higher. One that's even more convenient are stairs. All you have to do is hold up on the joystick and Link will get higher. You know, something I don't see online very much is Tears of the Kingdom stair appreciation. Look at these stairs. So beautiful. So gorgeous. I also want to say that only half of the ways will be in this video. The other half will be over on Jope's channel. I'll leave a link to his half at the end of this video. Enjoy. If you stand on top of a spring or fuse one to your shield, you'll go super duper boingo town. I really wrote that in the script. Boingo town is also something I did last night with your dad. Shoot a pepper, get high. Goes crazy. Ladders? Anyone? I mean, they work. If you equip the Zora armor and swim up a waterfall, you're getting high. This reminds me of the time I tried doing this with my cousin. Instead, he just got brain damage from the water pressure. While climbing on his own can be a great way to get higher, jump climbing is where it's at. The script just says to improvise a joke, so... Cats are pretty cool, right? If you find a dragon and ride it, the dragon's path may go up. But that's not what I'm talking about. At the end of the game, Big Daddy... <laughs> Why did I write that? At the end of the game, Big Daddy Dragon Ganondorf grabs Link in his mouth and flies him really high into the sky. Yep, I'm counting that and there's nothing you can do about it. Cry. Seethe. Another one I'm counting is going to the Great Sky Island after the intro to the game. I mean, technically you go from Hyrule Castle onto the surface to the sky in the... in the sky. You go up and I don't care if it's in a cutscene or not. Yeah, so you know those big balls? Yes, you know those big spheres in the sky that rotate? Well, if you stand on the right side of one, it'll lift you higher. Biker Rocket is a glitch used to gain height by using rockets. Or, I should say, was a glitch considering Nintendo hates fun, and if they catch you having it with one of their games, you're gonna need a new kidney. However, if you manage to find a way to play an older version of Tears, you can still perform Pocket Rocket. If you place down a big wheel and stand on it after activating it, you're getting higher. When going up to the Wind Temple for the Rita Quest, you have to bounce on these sky ships. Look at that, getting high. Did you know if you stand next to a horse and press A, you'll get higher? I know, I know, it's a trick not a lot of people are familiar with. Did you know if you stand next to a steering stick, you'll get higher? Absolutely buck wild for Fox, Blue Sky, and her, the, the really bad one. Okay, this one's actually fun. If you stand on a Hinox's hand while it's sleeping, it'll eventually lift his hand to itch its ugly, fat, hairy body. This gets you higher even if for a brief moment. You know, this is actually one of those times attending ZU was actually, you know, it actually helped me out in life. I'm $200,000 in debt. Standing on a platform and placing down octa balloons will lift you into the air. This one's a classic. Bring this knowledge out on the first day and you're getting laid. You know, getting struck by lightning makes you go up a little. Attach a plane to a stabilizer and it's me when I see oiled up pictures of Ganondorf. Blowing yourself up with a fucking bomb. Did you know that if you fuse a wing to your shield then jump off of something, it's the equivalent to jumping with one piece of glide armor? Oh. Oh, wait. What's this? Lately, I've been seeing some people say that fusing a wing to your shield and then skydiving with it is equivalent to skydiving with one piece of glide armor. Believe it or not, I landed at exactly negative 0204 again, the exact same Y coordinates as the normal no glide armor test. So that's some cap. If you stand on a big daddy tally, why did I write this? If you stand on a big daddy tally, he'll wake up and you'll be lifted into the air. Kinda wish he would lift me into the air romantically with his arms, but we can't have it all. Hey man, if you're ever looking for a nice, simple, lazy way to get high, Hyrule Herbs are always there for you. If you stand on the edge of the world and jump to your death, the game will put you back where you jumped, bring you up. Again, very important, most of these don't work in real life. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Did you know that if you finish a mini game at a lower elevation, the game puts you back where you started? When, once you finish, you know, once you finish the, the game. In the depths, there are mini bosses called Frunks. One of the Frunks' attacks is to suck you in and spit you out. Mm, I'll, I'll be right back. No, but this is another way to get high in Tears of the Kingdom. Vor. Remember what I said about that cliff thing earlier? Yeah, the same thing applies to lava. Still, don't try this at home. When walking, Link bouncing <laughs> up and down. <laughs> when riding a Saiyan Celios, Link is a little higher than usual because of the shield. Jumping on spikes knocks you up and down. <laughs> if you jump off of something and reverse, the footage is kind of like going up. 
In this shrine, there's a rotating cylinder thing that makes you go up and uncrouching. Yeah, we got a little desperate with these last ones. Anyway, what I talked about in the intro, the second half of this video is going to be on Jope's channel. We had a blast coming up with these, so enjoy. Go to, go to his video, video game, Zelda. <laughs> 